Whoa, the entire place is in sparks. Jesse, you doing okay, my girl? Having a bit of a rough night tonight, aren't we? I'm with you on that. Do we still need this? Okay, wonderful. Yeah, you know, they're supposed to be hiss and all, but they definitely move kind of human-like. And what the heck was that? Oh, there's somebody there! A friend, or...? Oh, definitely a friend. Oh god! That wasn't smart. Oh, we gotta hurry up and kill these people before they kill our friends. There's more and more. Oh god! What the hell? Wait, are people being turned into- Woo! My worst nightmare. Something exploding right next to me. Am I gonna be able to get some health back here? Agent? Hey, this person has an Asian ID. So they're like a special agent? Oh god. Oh frick man, I think all my allies died already. Shoot. Holy god! Quit it with that. Damn it. Did anybody live? Anybody? Oh, this is back where we were before. Holy crap. What's your read on all this? Hey. Uh, energy conversion's well below the acceptable limit. Crew feels a lot safer when you're around. You sure about that? Cause I feel like a whole bunch of people just died before my eyes. I should be going. Right. Oh you god. Walk down the lift. Wait, there's still some people wandering around over there. Hold on. Excuse me, though. Could I use my ability points? I got three. More health. More energy. More launch damage. Let's go for launch damage. I kind of like that. And then we still got one more point here. Oh, launch branches off into different things here. So right now, I can't launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy yet. Let's keep saving up. Astral constructs? Nah, forget about it for now. Board countermeasures. I finished one mission here, which is killing 50 enemies in a row without dying. Cool. Now the next one. Kill his guards. They are minor threats. Squash slash tell them off. 25. Can I accept more than one at once? Oh, okay, I can accept up to three. Dang it, I already killed 50 people earlier. Grip. Using grip, kill enemies with headshots. Uh, kill enemies with a service weapon in any mode. It actually feels like the one that we finished was the hardest one, and these are the easier ones. Hmm. So the one called grip is the one that we normally have. Okay. All right. Spin and grip. Now, if I want to go fix the energy converters, it means I got to go around here again. Yes, where there's people walking around already. 
Yeah. Ooh. Whoa, why is that guy walking so fast? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't even see the guy floating towards me. Oh! It's a hiss elevator. Hold on. Hold on. This guy's like Tomasi, but not as strong, maybe? Still pretty annoying with the evasion, though. Who's shooting me? Oh. Goodness. Energy converter is right here. Central maintenance. Well, let's get to energy converters for now. This place is different. Whoa. Just hold together a little longer. Yeah, this place is falling apart. Let's not forget that. Uh... The levitation didn't work. He's trying to bring something in here. Look at my levitation damage, though. Seems like I'm doing pretty well after I upgraded it. Even the random cardboard boxes are putting in work. Dang. Oh. We got another point here. Wonderful. Does the cleansing somehow involve my gun? Kind of seemed that way just now. Okay. Not much else we gotta do here. There's a lot of energy cubes. Do we have to replace anything? It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old trick man's inside the plant has a shit fit. Okay. I'm just wondering about what this place back here was. Can we even get inside or... Oh, it's like all moldy or something. I can take bits out? Whoa! Whoa, that actually hurts me a little bit. Am I allowed to walk inside? It is a little bit overwhelming. I am losing health. Okay, never mind. Fine, we'll come back here later on. Now as for here... NSC energy converter. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry about the computers and stuff. Whoa, I really need to keep upgrading the launch damage, because this is great. And then if I can keep upgrading the energy meter, that would be really awesome too. Yeah, look at that. We all good? Come on, give me my headshot! I want my headshot! Hang on! Thank you! Wonderful! So it's another energy replacing thing. All we gotta do is find a spare one. Oh, what the heck? Where'd you come from?
Yeah, if you look at how they move, they seem to be using some kind of tactics here that look vaguely human. So it is very scary because what if the people are actually still intact? Their minds. And this whole time, we've actually been slaughtering these people. But there's nothing we can do about it because if we didn't slaughter them, they would be slaughtering us. Oh, come on. Oh, give me a freaking headshot here. There we go. And that challenge has been completed. Hmm. Oh! Oh, wow, I didn't know we could jump that high. That's pretty cool. Seems like I'm in pretty good shape. Another spot here. Boom. Now we're looking for a third one. Did I miss one while I was walking up here? Or maybe it's below. Yeah, here we are. Now we won't blow up. Let's go lift the lock down. Wonderful. There's a shelter behind us. With not much inside. You know, they have so many emergency shelters around here. They pretty much expect bad things to happen. But yet, when a bad thing actually happens, none of these shelters seem to help. Which is definitely a shame. All of the planning that we've done. You can't really tell what form a disaster will take. If all the rules of nature are thrown out the table. Electricity level, water level. Doing pretty good. Upcoming game reminder. Next game is Wednesday at 8, usual spot. Hazard, owes me $20. Arish, still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson, suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Gee, I owe you $60. I brought beers last time, so it's Hepston Stahl's turn. Oh, wonder what they're playing here. It's too quiet. As we thought. Ooh, okay. They're starting to gang up on me a bit. It's a little bit far away for us to do any meaningful damage with the shatter form. But we're fine. Ugh. We all good? I don't think so. Ah. <sighs> You know, they weren't even standing here to begin with either. They sort of just manifested when they realized that I intruded on their space. Maybe they can do some sort of teleportation, depending on their needs. Sounds like you're looking for me. This is what we came here to do. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. To steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people. To protect them. The board is there to advise you. 
but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. It's like a sinking with a ship kind of mentality. I don't really think our situation right now is that safe though. We want to lift the lockdown so we can go to the other sectors, but not because this place is safe. Are we really going to be okay? Here it goes. By the way, once we become a director, how do we not become a director? Is the only way death? Because that's not quite ideal. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Hmm. I'm here for my brother, too. Now, there's a lot of places that we still have question marks on, but I think we'll come back here later on anyway, so we don't have to worry about it too much, maybe. Yeah. Alright, let's just go back to Emily, then. I finished a challenge earlier. This one. I killed... Five enemies with headshots. Consecutive kills boost. What is that? And they keep refreshing. The more we do, the more challenges we finish, the more come up. Kill enemies with a service weapon in any mode. Ten enemies. Kill mold hosts. Kill his elevated. Yeah, of these ones, this is probably the easiest one. Just kill anybody. Okay. Ooh, look at how many places we got now. We gotta get back to Central Executive. Pope has asked us to document the his incantation, as she calls it. You mean like in person? In person, with a pencil and paper. I think she's trying to get us killed. You gotta do some research. Research means taking risks. What's the plan right now anyway? Everyone's just sort of stuck in this building until this whole thing is resolved. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created... doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we... met something. A being. 
A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. It's a woman. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. Surprise. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Wonderful. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Oh no. What did we get ourselves into? I think we got a hotline thingy just now. Okay, good talk, guys. That was a lot of information to process. Thank you. <laughs> huh. There's lots of mysterious happenings in the Bureau right now, but the board... Okay, so I sort of treat the board as like alien thingies, but I also treat the hiss as alien things too. So in my head, I was thinking of, I guess, maybe humans versus things we don't really understand. But it sounds like from this recording here that even among the things we don't understand, they don't stand with each other. The board does not stand with a hiss. The board is on our side, theoretically. Hmm. I think last time we checked out control points and... Northmoor? Gotta be a little bit careful about not rolling over them if I want to keep track of which ones I've seen. 
We'll look at a few more right now since we're doing it anyway. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly ringing. Ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. I must reach the hotline. And that's what Trench was guiding me towards the whole time. And now we have it. Ah, oh, there's a lot going on here. My brother? Polaris? Okay, uh, we have a name for the thing that's... Or... Girl? The girl that's with me. Although we don't really know anything beyond the name, really. We did that. I love how we came back here and Emily was like, Hey, you did it! You got the lockdown done! And normally the conversation would be more like, Oh yeah, thanks man! Okay, what should we do now? But no, Jesse immediately jumps into it like, Listen Emily, I got this ghost following me and my brother's here and you gotta help me out. But the best thing is, Emily, being the researcher she is, immediately gets with the program and starts telling us about the ordinary AWE and whatever. I love that. Speaking of the ordinary AWE, isn't that so ironic? A place where an AWE happened, and it's called Ordinary. Did we get a file for that just now, or...? No, but that's definitely one that I would hope to get to later on. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything new for now. Did you want to talk any more, Emily? Hi, Jesse. She's so happy to talk to me. Oh, this is new. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. <laughs> he didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? Darling is shaping up to be someone who sounds very, very suspicious. But are we making the assumption that he's even still alive right now? Like, that's... Do we know he's alive? This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. I trust so you. So dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. It was a tiger shark. Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. A literal pet. How do people work here? They motivate them with posters talking about how you should be aware and save this security guard's life. You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodology, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. That honestly sounds amazing from a research point of view. Because there's so many things in the world that we just 
take for granted as a set law, like for example, gravity, you know, water does not fall upward, things like that. But here, there's no limits on any of that. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. Bit of a competition going on here. Uh, the event back at Ordinary that Jesse mentioned sounds a little bit similar. There was a place that led to multiple places and doors being opened, and then I found Polaris, and then she helped me get rid of the bad things happening. <laughs> kind of vague. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Well, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. Oh, God. What, I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. <laughs> Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay. You know, it's just... Wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. A person who truly loves to learn. I can get behind that. See you soon. Be careful out there. Thank you. Okay, we have our next task cut out for us. I love how they had a... What the hell? What was that sound? Was that more of a... Welcome back, Jesse. Oh, hey. You know where to find me. Yeah, lost my train of thought a little bit here. I thought that ghostly sound was something in particular. No, I do hear it. Something sounds like it's going on. Hmm. Okay, if we want to go find Marshall, she is in the research slash parapsychology sector? Is that its own sector? Not sure how we would start going into that, but I was wondering, there's definitely places around here that we can access now that we couldn't before, right? Not this one yet. Although we are getting the clearance levels pretty fast. We're at level 3 now already. They're saying Trench was shot dead. The situation's getting worse. I saw Trench and Darling arguing a couple weeks ago. Trench was furious. You don't think Darling... Killed him? Stupid. What would the Bureau's golden child have to gain from killing the boss? Dr. Darling, the Bureau's golden child. Got five points right here. Launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Let's get this one first. 50% to launch damage. And then... Health? 20%. Melee damage is really not one that I use too much. This would be nice. Let's get more health for now. I'm scared of dying. I don't like death. We're a little bit close to the additional personal mod slot. Cool. Um, I was wondering if it's worth fast traveling back to maybe the Dead Letters archive. Because now that we got some clearance levels, I feel like there were definitely things there that we hadn't seen before. And yeah, like I said, I'm actually not sure where to start going to Marshall. Was there a location that we... Oh god. This actually wasn't the place I was looking to go to here. Oh, God! Oh! 
launch damage is now essential for me. Yeah, this is really essential because it's so dang good. But this seems like every time we come back here, maybe we'll be running into some kind of... Um... Okay, that noise is seriously new, right? Is this just the noise associated with the control point? I don't even know. Why... Why do we not have full clearance levels, even though we're the FBI... FBI... FBC director? I feel like we should, but maybe we gotta, like, go to a specific place first. Right now, we're just sort of getting handouts from random people around here. Which, I mean, I don't feel like a director if you do that to me. Alright, we're back here. Right. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that is a control point noise. The closer we get to it, it starts making this ringing sound. Anyway, though, the last time we were here... Yeah, I don't think I checked over on that side. There are stairs there leading up. And I also wonder if there's any blocked off spots that I never looked at. Yeah, this spot. I never walked around here, did I? Ah. God, they all keep talking. What the heck? Communications department? Whoa! We've never been here before. This was wide open, but I just forgot to come here. I'm actually at the point now where the launch damage is way more reliable than shooting my own gun. But of course, we have to rely on both because we don't have launch all the time. Probably means we should be focusing on increasing energy soon, too. Whew. Are we happy? Communications department. Network disconnected. This is the internet. But it's all... On lockdown. Yeah. Office rules again. Oh, no, no, this is the door. This is how we came in here. But there's gotta be something in here, right? It's not just a random room that has nothing. Energy recovery. Whoa, I should probably start recycling some of these. Especially the crappier ones. Energy plus 5%, energy recovery speed. That could be a good one now, this one. 25% instead of health plus 18. Or I can wait until I get a second slot. Can I start deconstructing some of these though? Like for example, this one. It's objectively worse than what I have right now. Yeah, oh, we don't have that many slots. That's the problem. It's not that I want to spend time deconstructing this, but we gotta clean the place up if we want more later on. Yeah, we have an 8% one, so we'll just take away the 5%. Okay, we should be okay for now. Let's not think too much about it. Research or data breach? Summary. Last month, our on-site server experienced an intrusion by unauthorized users. After a thorough investigation, it was confirmed that the users only accessed the video file, which contained portions of various Dr. Darling presentations. Investigators were able to track the users through their IP addresses. The following are the confirmed identities of these users. Patrick Strudens, <laughs> Rubens Nogira, Arto Kalamaki, Christopher Mills Bowling, Jaco Saarinen. Are these all like Finnish names? Except for this one, maybe. These individuals are in breach of the Bureau Code 91 and have been placed under surveillance by our external investigation team. Further action is pending. 
But it's not a breach from the outside. It's just the employees within the bureau. So it's not really that big of a deal. Although I expect that these people will be receiving some kind of disciplinary action. Was that the big thing here? I guess so. More tubes, but that's it. No cameras, thank you. Oh, whoa. It's that stuff that we couldn't cross again. Marshall, lock down distinctions. Pay attention, Alberto. This is the last time I'm explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via the directorial override and maintenance once the director is satisfied that the situation is under control. External lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security and research slap together. It can only be lifted once A, the threat has been neutralized, and B, a high clearance individual gives the system all clear. The all clear? This process is not the same as a directorial override, so stop saying so in the documentation. I know it's confusing as hell. I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but they're adamant it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understand how this mess all works, okay? Pretty relevant to us right now. We have overridden the maintenance thing for the internal lockdown, but for the external one, how does the system determine that the threat has been neutralized? I'm hoping I can become that high clearance individual, but I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I had some muscle memory from playing other games and I accidentally evaded just now. <laughs> Is there a way for us to get across this at all? Am I getting hurt? Yeah, I am. Okay. Hmm. It's not possible for us to drag documents over here. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't help with anything. I guess we'll just have to remember that there seems to be something here. But for now, we can't do much. Where's the music coming from? That. Why are things just falling down? Am I doing that? Oh. <laughs> I can bring the radio with me. Okay, well, I came back here just to check out pretty briefly what was going on, but I don't think there is really too much else here. As far as I can see, no more red points. Is that a ladder? Uh, maybe we can't use it. Okay, not too much else here. I guess I should fast travel back. No? These are the washrooms. Fast travel back to the executive sector and go from there. Board countermeasures? When did I finish that? Oh, I killed his guards. Okay. Did I not? Mm. Strategic target, mold hosts. That's not something that we've come across yet, actually. So maybe we should accept the one for his elevated instead. But I can't, because I can't abandon it once I accepted it. Oh. Executive incursion, headshot tactics. Kill enemies in the executive sector with headshots. Instructions incoming. Head, brain, melon is weak. <laughs> All right. Back to central executive? Or 
I mean, I don't even know where to start from, really. There's a whole bunch of places that we haven't looked at back in the maintenance sector. Should we go back to Ati sometime to check the side side mission board? I don't know. Yeah, like how the heck would we even leave here? Oh, back to the elevator probably.